Hello, hello, hello. Can you mofos hear me? Anyways, I want to first start off by saying I love you and thanks for listening. You're now tuned in to the Pretty Interesting Podcast. I'm going to be your host tonight or the morning or afternoon, whenever, whenever you're listening. Buckle up. Hey, yo, Jen, let's get it cracking. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Look it up. Look it up. Today's segment of Look It Up, I want you guys out there to look up Sam Hain, however the hell you pronounce it. S A M H A I N. It is a paganistic holiday that we ignorantly call Halloween today. Look it up. Uh, just think about it. Just think. What I want you guys to do is to go look up this prophecy by St. Malachi. It's called Prophecy of the Popes. It's something that they do not talk about. They'll tell you it's incorrect. But anytime the Catholic Church tells you anything is incorrect, you have to remember these are the same people that took Bible books out of the Bible. Literally. We know according to Revelation uh, chapter 22, that is one of the cardinal sins to remove God's word. Literally. But they did that. So anybody who tells you <clears throat> that does that and tells you not to pay attention to something, unless you're a dumbass, I would say you should pay attention to what they tell you not to just for your own good and for your own contextual learning. Look up prophecy of the popes. It's the prophecy about the 112 popes. And right now I'll give you a warning just to think about it. We are on the 112th pope. Just think. Don't hate me segment. Today's don't hate me segment. Well, first I want to say, if you hate me, fuck you. But I love you. Maybe. If, you, if you're a good person. <laughs> but if you're not, fuck you. We're back, we're back to the solution. Fuck you. All right. Today's Don't Hate Me segment, I want to talk to my people. My people who, uh, when Popeyes had that chicken sale, they were the first ones in line. I'm talking to those individuals. The same individuals who, when Kanye West was wearing a MAGA hat, you were talking about how big of a sellout he is. I'm talking to those people. I'm talking to the people who now are raving over him having a Sunday service. Well, if we actually opened our Bibles, we will realize that the Sabbath is not even on Sunday. Okay, Sunday is actually the first day of the week. Um, that was changed by the Council of Nicaea, uh, what Constantine uh, he changed it uh, to actually worship the sun god, uh, reference to sun day. Um, so it's blasphemy all the way around. And I'm sure he doesn't know that because um, he himself is the Antichrist. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. And if you're following him, you are a mere idiot. And um, if, you, if you would like to uh, conversate or debate me on these facts, I will be happy to oblige. I love you, and don't hate me. But if you do, you usually you probably just hate yourself. <laughs> All right, bye. Yo, welcome to Pretty Interesting Podcast, episode eleven. That's a great number, man. Uh, how you doing today, brother? I'm doing good. Happy to be here. Tell them, tell them your name and uh, where you come from. My name is Demarcus. Um, <laughs> no, I was brought here by my uh, my friend Gene. I'm from Pittsburgh. Um, California. Okay. He brought me here. He he told me a little bit about uh what you guys had going and some uh -huh. questions you had. So I figured I'd join in. Okay. Probably be something I'd be interested in. Nice man. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you, brother. That's appreciate it. All right. So uh tell me a little bit about your background. Parents, mama, daddy, um moms, brothers, and sisters. Uh you know, moms was there, my dad and her. My dad was in the military. Um okay. they split. Okay. He was in Florida. Um, she wasn't going to Florida. He wasn't coming to California. Uh -huh. And there we started. Um, did a little something there. I was hooped my whole life. 
Um, I'll cross you, though. Never. <laughs> it's never going to happen. <laughs> you better stick to that UFC. <laughs> you better stick to UFC. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, bro, it's not gonna happen. I got my fields, you got yours. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I hooped all the way. Um, I didn't. I didn't even get to play too much high school um, uh -huh. basketball. But I got a scholarship through a tournament, which is crazy. You're not even supposed to get those. I got a scholarship going through there. Um, I was a real knucklehead. I was like, you know, going to college is cool, but if I ain't going to the NBA, then it's a waste of time. I ain't have no um, insight, but. Uh -huh. I love learning, so when I got to junior college, I started to apply myself more um, within, like, communications and things like that. You get to take a lot more courses you're interested in yeah. instead of just, like, you know what I mean, withering through high school and stuff. So yeah. that's when I started to find myself. Um, and then I was like, I don't know, going to the workforce, you always feel like you're working for somebody else. You know what I mean? Like you're kind of getting strangled into a paycheck and stuff. So I was yeah. like, I got to do something else. And then I got into sales because it was more so where I could uh, find myself and then just slowly starting to get back into some sorts of communications with podcasts, things like this, like open mics, I guess, hearing the way people think and also just um, bouncing ideas off of others and stuff. That's kind of where I find myself now. Okay. So that's what interest. That's what brought my interest to the podcast. So going back, let's go yeah. back. Let's, let's, let's unpack a little bit. Let's do it. So going back, your mother and your father, mm -hmm. they – they separated because of distance, right? Because of distance, yes. And he was he was in the military, so he getting stationed in places or the uh, Marine, whatever the hell he was doing. I don't even know the whole little rap, yeah, but so, yeah. So that's the gist. Do you still talk to him this day? Yeah, he's more so like a big brother. It's not like a, a dad and son thing. It's like okay. you know what I mean, big yeah. brother. I'll take some word of advice, but as far as the parenting, I I got enough of that. So okay, <laughs> it's all good. Okay, all right. So you, you never answered brothers and sisters. Oh yeah, no. I have um, I have three brothers and I got one sister, and then the step brothers and sisters come along. My dad was a Rolling Stone, so okay. Mine it's was a whole, too. You know how it be. Yeah. <laughs> so so what if I what if I could there. prove biblically that that was a prophecy that was bestowed upon our people? It wouldn't be news to me. I'm aware of it. I understand. What's it. that? Then? I know the curse. I know of the curse. I don't know exactly where it's at, but it's it wouldn't be new information. Let's read it. Come on. Let's uh let's start in Deuteronomy. We're gonna start Deuteronomy, uh, chapter twenty-eight, I believe is verse one second. I think it's verse sixty-four. I believe sixty-four. So again, this is no judgment because I lived through this myself, right? So uh, I have to learn because uh, it's, it's really good to know exactly where this stuff is. Uh, the tender, delicate woman, that's the woman one. Tender among you, delicate eye. And you shall rule. It's right here somewhere. Where uh, so. Dun dun dun. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> A man, whole man. bunch of them. We need the yeah. Jeopardy in the background. Hey, man. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's so crazy because there's so many. The sons of thy daughters, ox, the wife, a grow. I should have had this already. I should cause thee to be smitten. Man, these, these are crazy, some of these. Uh, Sometimes when the brain ain't working, the person next to you just got to Google it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to help you out with this no, one. No, because I, I, I always get confused right here. The woman, children, the womb, she'll eat. Oh, here we go. It, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Hmm. And so this, this is doing those things where, you know, uh, we, we know our mm -hmm. people, uh, fathers, you know, whether that be because of, um, I think uh, one of my old uh, podcasts, I talked about how just when it comes to Section 8, uh, mm -hmm. When you're in a Section 8 home, a home, what do they tell you you can't have in the house? Can't have a dad in the home. The, mom, the dad can't be present. You can't do a welfare and stuff like that. Yes. You got to be out the house, which breaks the house down into where you raised by a woman. Yes. Which is, is, is cool to a point, but you need a man, but a fatherly figure. what happens is, unless you have an older brother or 
an uncle that's still not the same as a father, right. but you need to, you need somebody. You need male influence to push that, you further. And that's why our society today is feminine. Right. We have a lot of femininity. It's a big push on it. Ooh, they're it's trying a to huge get us. push. They're trying to get us. Yeah. So let's get into these questions, man. You know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> oh, look at this, this guy right here, man. Yeah. <laughs> he, he be gassing people up, man. man. He got the Doughboy laugh, the little commercial. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Goodness. So, do you believe in God? I do. The God of who? The God, the only God I know of. I'm, I'm not sure what other <laughs> we're supposed to be breaking it down. <laughs> I'm looking for, like, you know. I know you is, but I'm not sure what specific uh, <laughs> so, title you're looking for. Go ahead and give me the title. So I'm talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Okay, Jacob. I, I concur. Because, because we know in the Bible, it even speaks about there being multiple gods. Okay. You know Break that, right? that down. Tell me that. I didn't. I had no so, clue about that. So in the Bible, it talks about, uh, so let's look up. It's, uh, Astarte is one of them. Astarte is the God of, let's say, Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. uh, she is found in Bible verse. She's found, I know she's found in Genesis, but let's get exact one. In Jeremiah, Esther is the queen of the heaven, whom the Canaanites burned offerings and poured liberations. Jeremiah 44. Okay, so there's, man, there, it, it is, there's multiple gods that are in the Bible itself. Okay. So sometimes when you say, uh, like, like you, ever, you ever had that person who said, I'm spiritual? Right. And you sit back like... Mm -hmm. what, what spirit are you talking about <laughs> okay that's where you would go because i would i would actually identify myself someone that's more so spiritual than religious but i mean it's just on them terms to okay. where like a religious breakdown is so it's so like um i don't know it's a little bit more cutthroat than the than the than the spiritual side of the lord where it's yeah. like you know what i mean where I'm, it's not like, spirit. I'm, not, I'm not i'm not religious at all yeah it's like you know if you're not following every word about it you're getting booted to hell it's like, all right i I'm not that religious. I'm a little bit more spiritual, but I get what you're saying. So if you're referring to it, as so far what as I mean by guys. what I mean by being spiritual, mm -hmm. because to be in the spirit, what do you have to do? That means you have to follow the word. Right. That's the very definition of being spiritual. Right. It's following the word to the T. We'll agree. get to that later. I right? agree. So, oh, this is another one. Do you ever question your faith in God? Yes. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you for being honest. Yes. No, I ain't scared of you, bro. You might be ass, <laughs> but I ain't scared of you. I'll answer a question. <laughs> so, what makes you question your faith in God? Um, circumstances that people are placed in when okay. it's hardships that one person has to overcome, as to where I feel somebody else may be handed the world, based off my perception, at least. Well, right. Maybe handed the world. Um. You can look, it's, it's as simple as some people being born in, in with a silver spoon as to where others are born in third world countries. Um, a reason why one woman may give birth to the man that to, may have a baby with the man that she's loved her whole life as to where another one will give birth with a situation like rape or some, it's something to that yeah. extent, right? Yeah. And I understand, I, I, I'm a firm believer that God don't give you more than what you can handle. Yeah. But certain situations have definitely um, been pretty interesting. Yeah. So... That's a um that's some things. Give me an example from your life. Um that you know, whatever comes off the top of you don't. Why you can't get direct feedback within voice from God? Like I'd be like, yo, if I if I can holler at you in a prayer, can I get a voicemail or something? Is there a way you can get right back to me so I can know you're real? Like that, 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 and it's and it's for a time and place. Yeah. I understand that I can't I can't um take on God as far as seeing his physical features. We all know what happened to Moses when he when he tried to. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you it's certain things, but I'll be like, why it can't be like this? And I mean, damn, if you knew, if you, with you knowing all, and you know, why we even got to deal with Satan? Why you just don't get rid of him and we just go back to kicking it? Yeah. Like, if it's that bad. Yeah. So I think about that. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of things. I'll be like, damn, you put Gandhi on earth and you put Hitler here too? Yeah, so, so what happens <laughs> is uh, we understand that our world has been infiltrated by curses. Right. Because of people's transgressions. And we know that because of the transgressions of our fathers, our forefathers, right. we're we, punished today. We got to pay for them. I get it. So that even happens to the Edomite. You know what the Edomite is, right? Got you. A, a, a Caucasian. I know. Right? So they might not know. Oh, they know, they know by now. I think they know. <laughs> <laughs> I think they they know. should know by now. They should know by now. Okay? <laughs> so episode, I mean, episode uh, Isaiah 59.2 says, 
but your iniqui iniquities mm -hmm. have separated between you and your God and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Okay, so bit, bit, tell you, this is this is Isaiah 52, 59, verse 2. Mm -hmm. So, and again, we always have to add precept upon precept, line upon line. So, I want to make sure I draw a picture of the story, okay? Right. I get it. I hate being a contrarian in spaces like this, but it's like, that's cool. I got to pay for a bro sins. Like, I get it. I do that. <laughs> yeah. I take the time, right? Yeah. It wouldn't be something crazy. <laughs> but in the same sense... You washed away sins from the earth, so you can't flood this thing one more time and get me on the right track. Water, it's them thoughts, right? Water, like, okay. Water's not coming next. Fire is. Burn it up. Burn it up. Even worse for us. Burn it up. Burn it up. I get it. So, so you could have burnt it up before we had to deal with all this. That'd be my whole thing, but it's a plan in place. I there, get it. There you go. Right, so everything happens for a reason. Right, and the reason why a lot of times our lives are in disorder. Is because we don't live. Do you believe that we we still should be living by the law, statutes, and commandments of God? I do. So I you, think it would separate us from a lot of stuff. As far as that, I'm I'm in agreement okay. with it. So what happens is a lot of times. So it's like I say pork, right? I say black people, black people don't eat pork. People say, Nah, man. God says that whatever you put in your body is nothing like you know putting in your spirit, right? Right. What is pork? Pork is unclean. Clean, right. So it says biblically. New Testament, do not put in your body what is unclean. Right. Yeah, I think with all this uh, stuff we got going on in the world, we seeing what's going on with that. So you, we might have. What do you mean? Explain yourself. All this stuff that's being in, it's already in food and the and the backup we getting from it. People trying to cleanse their body. And yeah. They, you know how many ten day cleanses I've been on? Like I, I get it. I've been there. I, I'm a part time vegan. I go through half the I week and cram see. out. <laughs> I get it. So, so a lot of this stuff. That is written in Leviticus and old, especially the Old Testament. A lot of it is written for our protection, to help us. I agree. I agree. I think we all see the benefits of living a clean life. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally. Who got us it. addicted to pork? Well, give me that one. You gonna go to slavery? You gonna talk about all them chitlins and everything? Yeah. Cut up, chewing <laughs> on. Big ass. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. That, I hear that, you. That got our people addicted, literally. I hear you. And still to this day, you go to New Orleans. But shit, New you Orleans. gotta go to New Orleans you where your my, grandma uh, kitchen yeah, my, 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 at. My I got grandma you. Doing yeah. The, uh, family unions. It's there. Pig it's ass. Food. The house smelling like ass. It's there. Chitlins, right? yeah. And chitlins, then, funky as hell. Yeah. We still chew it. And, and then when, <laughs> when you tell them, hey, this is a slave food. That it's not good for you. It's unclean. Your grandma go to church every weekend and she look at you like you crazy. We ain't mm -hmm. got to follow the law. Mm -hmm. I got you. So it, back in the day, it used to be Satan that used to, you know, infiltrate the mind and convince you that you ain't got to follow the law, offer you these other gods. But now who's telling you you ain't got to follow the law? Bring that to me because I'm Christian not, pastors. The Christian pastors. Okay. They're telling you you ain't got to follow the law. All right. Which a, a, according to biblical precepts versus that's not that's not true that's mm -hmm. not true whatsoever and so uh, and again uh we'll put some verses at the below right here i'm no. gonna see i'm gonna see some verses yeah and we'll put them at the below just to kind of uh to uh, act so they can go actually understand these precepts okay. no i'm cool so one more question and we'll, uh, uh one more question uh are you for are you for abortion? Why or why not? Oh man, we having the pro-choice questions. This is the most convoluted thing in the world because it is say it the first thing we know with pro when you being pro-choice in this sense is thou shall not kill, right? That's the first 100%. thing you're gonna jump to, right? No, I'm gonna way more than that. That's the first one though. Okay, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the that's the the biggest buffer in the yes. conversation, right? And then it comes down to where, as far as Earth, or as far as us on Earth, we the only creatures with choice, yeah. right? Even though it say don't do this, it say don't do it. Yeah. But I know for sure David knocked Goliath down. With, with Goliath God's with God's help. Uh -huh. Um, and that ain't it's not. And we talking about how many Christians did Saul kill? A lot. Saul was out here. Come on, bro. So, so okay. Before we answer this question, do you believe there's free will? I do believe that God gives us free will. So did okay, and, 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 and it's okay. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Okay. I'm gonna read your verse, Romans nine nineteen. Thou wilt say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who has resisted 
his will, talking about God. Mm -hmm. Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing that uh, shall the thing formed say to the one that formed it, Why hast thou made thus? Mm -hmm. So how are we going to tell our creator anything? Right. So basically what he's saying is free will don't exist. God already knows what you're going to do before you even do it. So is that really free will? I go another is it, I, I I couldn't say it's not. If he not if he know what we gonna do, it's not free will. Then it it's kind of like I think lady. it is. It is to a degree. I go another one. No man can come to me except the Father, which has sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. The precept to that: Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. you. Right. And I ordain you that ye shall go and bring forth fruit. That your fruit shall remain, but that whatever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. So what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, or another I, I, one coming off my head. Did uh, when when Satan came to God and he asked him, "Can I tempt Job?" Job. Mm -hmm. So so Satan didn't have free will to do that. He had to go ask the Father. Yeah. The Father said, "Hey, okay, Satan, you go do that." Because I'm telling you how strong my guy is. I right. already know. Right. But I think he was he was more so sitting there like, I could go tempt him, but can I really rake him through the mud and test him? Not, not can I tap him on the shoulder <laughs> no, and no. say, bro, da, da, da. No, he, he was like, no, no, no. He's like, hey, bro, I'm taking everything you got. Yeah. Let me take everything and see yeah. how strong he's still standing. And, and, but God and I, knew. Yeah, and God knew. <sighs> and, I, and, I, and I definitely think God know who he dealing with or who he got on his side as far as us. Yeah. But that don't take away our free will. If that was the case, we wouldn't even be questioning our decisions. We'd just be going by a script. So... In 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 life, we do have choice. Is you know what I mean? Like it's there. Um, I do think God knows what we gonna do because He know our character. But yeah. that don't mean it's not free will because we definitely acting out how we feel. Mm -hmm. It's been plenty of times we in the middle of a decision like God ain't gonna be cool with this one. But look, <laughs> I gotta punch this ticket. Yeah, but, but, he, but right? he knows. Right? But he knows. Okay. He knows. I'm definitely in agreement with that. If you want to tell me um, our decisions are already predestined, yeah, I'm with it. Yeah. But that don't mean that we're not going to consciously make that choice. But pre ourselves. predestination don't mean that it's, it's not, already it's, in it's place. It's already written. Yeah, it's already in place. Yeah. I'm with it. Okay, so let's get. I'm sorry. Let's get back to the question: uh, Are you for abortion? Why or why not? <sighs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm gonna answer the question. No, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. I don't even got to take a second. I think there are situations where I've seen where there are um, you get you get children, I guess, in a sense, who aren't ready to raise it, and you pulling your child into the wrong situation. Uh -huh. As far as myself, uh -huh. it's it's kept me from putting my seed in a woman. I'm like, yo, I know for sure what I'm doing here, but pulling a kid out of this ain't the ain't the ain't the rabbit I'm trying to pull out this hat, right? Uh -huh. So I'll go through it in that. Um, myself, I couldn't see myself aborting anybody. I personally can't, especially at the, I'm, I'm, I'm 30 now. If a kid come out, that's, we riding together. That's just that. Yeah. And my dad wasn't there. So I have a whole different connection to it. Yeah. To where it's like, it just ain't about to happen. But there's cases when I'm like, yo, this person ain't even on their feet. They can't raise themselves. Yeah. Now we just supposed to put somebody else into the world. We don't know how this backlash going to hit the child. But I understand biblically. You ain't supposed to do it, right? Yeah. I know that. I know that's the bottom line. God gonna be like, I said no, so, and that's so, kind of so, that. So since it's biblical, we're supposed is, to follow it. So what does that mean if you don't do it? So who? who so so let, let's unpack. Essentially, it. you are going against God. I mean, we don't, it ain't even a deepness to it. It's like, so no, nah, you are going against heard it. Of Malik before? Malik, no. So we'll put that below the screen. Malik is essentially the God. Well, he's a, he's a, he's he was a fallen angel mm -hmm. where they did child sacrifices to. So this is actually spiritual. This is something that is actually archaic in its origin. Okay, his name is Malik. So again, so so which book is this that the that the Catholic kept out? I've never heard that. <laughs> is it on the Bakra or no? It's Bakra. So so look, so I'm gonna look up Malik. Is he? Um, I'm gonna show you right now. Malik. Pretty interesting. Man. Another God. So, uh, so I'm gonna let you read this to yourself. Mablik is a big, biblical name of the Canaanite god associated with child sacrifice through Canaanite or who? Africans. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Through fire of war. The name of this deity, also sometimes spelled Molik, 
Malikum or Malik. The name Malak results in a desphemic yeah, visualization. All right. In the second <laughs> temple period, Thessalonian based on the root milk. All right. They're not even spelling milk. And they put an MLK after the root. I'm like, all right, bro. I got you. That's just, that's who he's the deity. I got it. It's so, a, but he's a fallen angel, right? Exactly. That they're, that they're associating with the deity. Okay. Exactly. I'm saying the same thing. I got it. Right? Man. So this is one of the ones where they use to do child sacrifice too. Mm -hmm. the, the picture right here. When you guys look up Malik, you understand. Look at that picture. Got you. I see. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you think, if I know this, do you think the people in Planned Parenthood don't know this? I'm talking about the high ups. The high ups, yeah. Come on, bro. We know. We, come on. Thank this you. world ain't ran by, come on. It's, what ran, is, it's yeah. ran by people who know everything that's going on. Everything that's going on. Right, so it's like you, you, you go to Starbucks, right? Right. I'm gonna go. We, we, we'll go we're really quick, then we'll get back to the, uh, to the, uh, to the, uh, to this. So at Starte. So back to our Starte. Oh, her name is. Cause we using the image of Starbucks to to associate it with the deity. They did. I'm with you. No, I know, I know that. So Ash Toret. There you go. That's her name. Ash Toret. Bam. This is who you call Mother Nature. Okay. It's another God. So, mm -hmm. again, so remember what it says. Biblically. Is this another fallen angel that we call a deity that no, we call is, a this God? This or is this, that, this is like one that actual, I, I forget what community worshipped her. The Phoenicians. And the Phoenicians. The Sidonians, right? So we know that was the kingdom next to the kingdom of Israel. Okay. Right? Okay. So remember, it says what? You shall not worship any other gods above me. me. So what is he saying? There's other gods. Okay. Above me. Right. So there. so I'm the I'm top the dog. High. Got you. Got I'm you. the most high. Don't you celebrate these other these other jakes, bro. I'm the guy. That's All right. Remember, it says God is a jealous, jealous God. God. Right? I, I feel it. All right. So one more question, then we go to break. <laughs> what well, well, we breaking for? <laughs> no, it's, 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 uh, it's good. It's so... What's more important, the soil or the seed? It's got to be the soil because the seed got to be planted in it. Okay. So what carries all the information? The Ooh. soil. <laughs> what you mean? I'm just it ain't no. Nah, it ain't like you dropped this major bomb when no. he started laughing to add no, on to no, it. I'm no, like, yo, bro. Yeah, I know no, I just no, answered no, the no, question no, correctly. No, 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 no. All right. Well, then clearly it's the soil, right? Because the seed gonna grow from it, and I guess that's what you what you putting together is so, them being the soil and then putting this message out through a parent parenthood versus another. No, no. So what I'm saying is, soil and seed is your um, your your seed mm -hmm. are the woman's womb. The woman's womb, womb, I am equating to the soil. Gotcha. Your seed, seed that I'm giving. Gotcha. Gotcha. So what's more important, the soil? Or the seed, what 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 pop, popular, what popular the poom poom clearly, uh, so I right? Guess so, so remember, everything is going through biblically, especially mm -hmm. everything goes through what the soil, the father, the seed. Okay, right? Nah, okay. you ain't you ain't. I'm with you. Okay, so the seed is important because that carries everything. Mm -hmm. That carries your line. That ca that carries your everything. So when a woman marries a man, does the man go? Man, in this society, we you know, right. We, it's all. It me. might be twisted, but I got you. <laughs> I got you. I'm with you. Does the does does the does the does the woman come with the man and become cle cleaved to the man, or does the man go with the woman and become cleaved to her? The woman got to come to the man and be cleaved with him. Period. Right. I'm with you. So, again, uh, how much how much time we got? Good. Okay. We just hit 20. Perfect. This is uh, segment one, uh, episode 11 of Pretty Interesting. We'll be back in a few seconds. Thanks, brother. Mm -hmm. Go get some merch. Go, go get it go at Big Pretty Dot World. Big Pretty Dot World. Go get your merch now. Yes, right now. Go get it. Big Pretty Dot World. Big Pretty Dot World. Welcome to part two of. Pretty interesting podcast. Episode 11. Episode 11. Thank you very much. 
Now we're gonna continue our uh, our questioning, <laughs> <laughs> our debate. No, not debate. Not even a debate. This ain't a our debate. conversation. Okay, because uh, again, this is the stuff that you know. I think that a lot of people. These questions are questions I think everybody should ask themselves mm-hmm. and get a clear understanding. I'm not saying I'm 100% right. I'm not saying you 100% right, right? Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is is everything has to, well, especially if, if you say you're a Christian, everything should should match up to this. Right. Everything has to match up to this. That that's, This is our schoolmaster, mm-hmm. literally. It's, it's biblical, right? Okay. So it says, well, I'm, I'm going to well, I forgot. It's our schoolmaster. You can look that verse up yourself. Just put Bible verse schoolmaster. So the question that I have for you now is, do you agree with homosexuality and gay marriage or gay women, man, all that kind of shit? Do you believe, do you agree with homosexuality and homosexual marriage? No. (laughs) (laughs) Simple, Uh, folks. uh, Why or why not? not? No, I, not only do I not believe it, it's not natural. I just believe that there's a specific relationship between men and women yes. or a togetherness that you can't recreate with the same sex. Period. That's just me. Um, I strongly believe in it, but I'm not the one to – I don't bash people for being gay or yeah. anything like that. Like, I just don't – my mom told me one thing, and my, I'll say this. When we grew up, we grew up in the projects. It's all type of stuff going on. It's a gay <laughs> dude used to help my mom out. We'd be broke. He come dropping off some money. Yeah. Birthday's coming. He the first one with presents. You know what yeah. I mean? And it was never the the feeling of like the eerie feeling or any you know what I mean? Yeah. That like he's he planting the seed, he out to get us or something like that. I never felt like that. Yeah. But my mom always told me, and I live by this with most things, and that's why I have much more of a forgiving attitude, people, to love the person and hate the sin. Yes. So that I way I can love them through they through their trials. Yeah. And they also know I'm on their side. So that's just me. And society bash gay people like like it's no business. So, like it's nobody business. So, I just, I don't know if we take the right approach with that. But I don't agree with it. So, scientifically, is it genetic? No. Okay, thank you. Biologically, is it natural? No. According to the Bible, is it an abomination or no? No, we know that to be an abomination as far as So, what, what gives validation to being gay? Or homosexual, whatever the word. Comfort within within a sin. Okay, so we're basically when we make laws to accommodate them, what are we literally accommodating? Their comfort, their feelings. Right, it's their feelings. Um, because at, at the end of the day, it's a choice. Because what happens is like your skin color, mm-hmm. my skin color, a white person, quote unquote, white person's skin color, is that a choice? No, you're, you're born with that. You're born you don't have that, right? So right. then, if, if if it's not genetic, mm-hmm. if it's not biological, it's not spiritual, then why do we alter our way of being because of their feelings? How is that about? I think where somebody could feel like it's genetic is when they're, um, I don't want to say manipulated, but when they're, we'll just put bothered at a young age where they don't feel acceptance within one thing. Yeah. You can't you can't play with girl dolls as a boy. Yeah. Like you can't. Yeah. Your daddy gonna he, hey bruh. You ain't about to mess up yeah. my reputation because yeah. you wanna touch it. So yeah. You, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then if you do grow a liking to where you have to do it in hiding, you already kind of like pushed in a certain way. You get a certain man that touches you in this way. You yeah. know what I mean? Or even I had a girlfriend. She um she was um what you wanna say when they raped when they younger, uh what's the other word? Molested, right? Molested, right? Yeah. And I could see the ways it had specific effects on her, with yeah. her sexuality, um, and things of that nature. She well, did. She had a yeah. It was an uneasy feeling she had with men, right? Yeah. And you could see it. And I'm like, imagine it happened to a boy. How I can conflict them? And, and there's a lot of gay people be like, I wasn't touched by anybody. I'm yeah. just naturally, da da da. And you'd be like, you okay, like. That's you naturally. I can't tell you what you feel inside, right? That's where I'm going a step too far, but I know what I believe as yeah. well. And I know what I've seen in a lot of cases. Um, do I believe that there are some men that are naturally a little bit more, if we would say feminine in that yeah. case? I do believe that. And I think they're being them natural selves. I don't believe that it's it's for them to be gay, yeah. though. 
And I also think we don't leave them room to be feminine at times because it's it's looked down on. You can't be feminine growing up where I was growing up. You're going to get punched on. So you might as well just put your hands up from the yeah. jump. But it needs some tough game yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, you going and, and, and get and man. And that's the last person. That's the last person you want to get into. You don't get into no fight with no gay man. That's just me. I don't want to be touched by you. And I damn sure don't want to be beat up by you. So that's, that's, a, that's a no-no. But I don't believe it to be natural. Um okay. But I have an open mind to where it's like I'm not about to bash you or I'm not about to be like, get the hell out of my house that you're gay, da 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 You're not about to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Influencing or anything like that, my child or anything on me. But it's 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 growth that, that has to take place within them. So I just let it be with that said. Okay. All right. So next question. Mm-hmm. What is your view on immigration? Should we allow, uh, let's say, quote unquote, Mexicans to come across the border? Should there be a wall? Should there be, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? People could fight me to the to to the death about this. Ain't no way we should stop somebody from coming where they was at beforehand. Um, and I don't, I I kind of don't care what the reason is for stopping in it, for stopping them, especially with the things we didn't hear from the man in office. Like I'm yeah. just like, bro, you. Right, you you talk about white people moving from here, dominating it, flipping it, doing what they want. Australia, to these people everywhere. been here. You want to talk about Australia? You, uh, it's right. always funny. I think I was talking to him about it. If you look below the equator, what they've done versus on top of the equator is wild, and that's just to me. Yeah, that's just to me. You talk about Latin America, Middle America, Australia. Uh, they've never got into Asia. The way they wanted to, them Chinese men know how to. They know how to so, handle their business. That's just to me. I'm, I'm, and I'm, a lot, I'm gonna, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write this out real quick. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, so, all right. What happens is the the original cock Asian were what? So so if you go to Asia, what were the original people? They look like you and me. Okay. Right? And so okay. how did they get light? Got to move on. <laughs> yeah. well, the white man came in there and spread yeah. his seed. Okay. So so again, that they, they've already been conquered. That, that, was, that was a long time ago. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, new. I'm gonna I'm look into that. One. That's yeah, look, the first look, thing you said. Where I was like, "Yo, what is bro talking about?" Look, but I got you. Look, I'm gonna look, look into. Look, it. I, hear look, look at that. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. But as far as immigration, I just don't feel like. Um, I feel like you just conquering, you conquering people who've already been divided. Yeah, that's just me. Yeah. And and then when you can put out um, certain. Um, certain notions about these people character to yeah. diminish them to already have them fighting the uphill battle versus what they already fighting. I don't know if y'all just seen how they just got El Chapo's son out of prison. Yeah, of course. If you can highlight that amongst a, a whole bunch of people, you could paint a hell of a picture. Yeah. That's just me. I, I, my question is this. How can the original immigrant tell the original inhabitant that they Don't are come. now an immigrant? Yeah. It's crazy. Do you want to know what's the funniest thing? <laughs> Let me ask you this. You ever think black people or some Mexican people are going to have a specific country in Europe and tell them something? No, they wouldn't. Okay. Yeah. Then we good. That's yeah. that's all it is for me. Yeah. It's that simple. So, okay. So let's speak about immigration just while, we, while, we're on, while we're on this topic. So what people... So let, let's let's do this. I'm I'm gonna read something to you. Let's go to Psalms eighty three, one through eight. And I just wanna break I'm just gonna break this down really quick. Cause we talked about different countries and mm-hmm. Mexico and immigrants, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It says, Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for lo Thine enemies make a tumult, and they, and they, a tumult means an agreement. Mm-hmm. They that make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up thy head. They showed their face. They have taken crafty counsel, trickery, mm-hmm. against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. The ten lost tribes. You heard that before? Mm-hmm. Okay. They have said, come. And let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Okay, so I'm going to pause there real quick. 
Do you believe that the people in Israel right now, the white motherfuckers, no. Do you think no. that they are true Hebrews? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna tell you, the, if, if, I, you're right because if you look back at Egypt, and you understand that Egyptian weather is anywhere from a hundred at summertime, 105 to 125, hot. All you gotta do is look at that equator, and it's gonna let you know where they at versus where we at. Exactly. It's simple. So, so <laughs> how, simple. how could they be outside? Where the equator at? <laughs> I'm, I'm you see, with you. You see what I'm saying? I'm with you. So we, we know that they stole that land. Right. So let, let me continue now. So now we know that hidden ones are definitely not them. Caucasians. Right. Caucasians, right? They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah. Whoosh. What's your name, boy? Mm-hmm. Kota. Kota Kente. Yeah. Whoosh. What's your name, boy? Toby, right? It's no longer be a remembrance. All right. So, did you hear about? So, are you aware of the first slaves writing in Hebrew? Yes. Okay. Of course, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then so, I mean. So uh, my my question is this: Who built the pyramids in Mexico? <laughs> right. So we we, we got to start answering these questions. Who built the Who built the Who built the pyramids in South America? So when we talking about these lost tribes, though, we're not just talking about black people. No, it's in not. In that extent, it's a bigger group of so, people so that look up have. So the Right. So it's called the asterisk. So right. at home, guys, I think we did this a previous uh, podcast, a previous episode. Look up asterisk and Columbus. Columbus, this is according to his house. He came with a Hebrew translator to South America. Why? Because they knew. They was already they writing knew. it. They read doing the book it. of Ezra. They, they read the Bible. Yeah. The devil know the Bible better than a, a lot yeah. of us. Of course. Right? So let me finish this. <laughs> For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. So I have to break down this verse when I talk about this verse. So what confederate, <clears throat> what confederacy is worldwide? That that unites everybody. Um, shit, I'm thinking, why am I thinking about the United Nations? Go ahead. Bam. Okay. Bam. The United Nations. What people are not represented in the United Nations? If it's the people of Israel, then I'm gonna be shocked. But go ahead, because I don't know this. I'm asking. Are you, you represented in the United Nations? As far, what you mean? As far as being an African American or black, just black? Are black, are black people in your tr- in your plight? Is it represented? No. Okay. Is, no. is 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 the Mexicans, right? They might have their European looking guy in the United Nations. Right. But I'm talking about is the Mexicans that look like you and me that are in Mexico. No. Right? So no. Okay. Well, if, there's an agenda to be pushed forward. Is so there, the, the is there, is there Aboriginal is the no. Aboriginals in Australia represented? No. Okay. So who are they confederate against? Us. Okay. So let's continue. The tabernacles of Edom. These are the people now. Mm-hmm. It tells us who who's against the nation of Israel, right. who are enemies of God mm-hmm. and God's children. The tabernacles of Edom. Look it up. Who they are, and you, we are. If we, we we know who they are. Mm-hmm. The Ishmaelites. Who are the Ishmaelites? Who are the Ishmaelites? The Arabs. The Arabs. Okay. Right. Okay. These are the people that are against the uh, 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 Confederate against. The Israelites, us, of Moab, the Hagarines, Africans, Jabal, Ammon, Amalek, the Philistines, and the inhabitants of Tyre. Assur also is joined with them. They have hope in, they have hope and means help. They have helped the children of Lot. And the last word on here says what? Say that word. Selah. Selah. That Selah. means forever. This will be going on forever. So everybody at home, read Psalms 83, verse 1 through 8, and look up these locations of who these people are today. And it'll tell you who are the enemies against the children of Israel. Selah, forever, until the end of time. <sighs> we unwrap that. Okay. So this is immigration. Mm-hmm. So why do you think that uh, uh, Americans, right? Because remember, 
Caucasians are now Australians. Mm -hmm. They're now Americans. We know they're not Americans. Who are mm -hmm. Americans? Really gotcha. us. Because we were forced here, and some of us are already here. Right. Right? Okay. So, what is your view on immigration knowing these facts? They still stand the same, but it's like, well, damn. We probably don't need to be mixed with them, but we here. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, if that's the case, you probably don't need to be living amongst them, but what's yours is what's yours, right? Yeah. And that's that. Um, I don't know. I just don't find it a coincidence that God then gave all different races of people their own land for a reason. And who comes to take it? I don't. Yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> that's a whole other thing. But I don't think it's a coincidence it's that not. we all got our own specific piece of land that we do as. Do you as know why he comes to take it? Like, you, you understand? He sends these people out against us. And that's in Deuteronomy chapter, uh, Deuteronomy 28, 15. In Deuteronomy 28, it says this. Man, see, this is this is something that all our brothers should be knowing because all this stuff has already been written. Hey, Say it, the curse, Lord. Right? Yeah, curse, right? it says, so I'm, I'm going to start off at one. And one, it says, and it shall come to pass if thou shall hearken diligently, if you shall listen mm -hmm. diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God Thy God will set thee on a high above all nations on earth. This is what Moses told the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Mount Sinai. He said, listen, if you follow what I say, you're going to be kings mm -hmm. on earth. Rule everybody. Right? And we know our people, my president is black. My Lambo blue. <laughs> right? That's our people since the so beginning. Good. Since the beginning. And the thing is, they tricked us. Let me know how they tricked us. Is Obama black? Well, of course, me saying yeah is going to lead to the no. So give me the trick that they <laughs> so, so Obama's a Kenyan. He's not black. His skin is black. Our African skin is black. Mm -hmm. But what happens when you, ask, when you ask an African and they black? What do they say? Mm. Hell no. Because his struggle is not our struggle. They, they tricked us. Mm -hmm. Did you know President Obama's related to six U.S. presidents? Yeah, I did know that. That's ridiculous. Why didn't they say that at the beginning? Well, I mean, you my can't president give out... is black. <laughs> my Lambo blue. Yeah. It's <laughs> <It's laughs> like... So, uh, how far do you go with it being African and being black? What's the what's the what's the uh I, the I, outside of the struggle? Okay. Outside of the struggle. Okay. And it's only because when you can go to like South Africa where they have an apartheid, which is uh -huh. very similar to ours, where you can look down uh -huh. not speaking the native tongue, they speak in French or they're speaking English. Uh huh. Um breaking it down in that case to break okay. them down as well. Uh -huh. How do you how do you differentiate that, especially with a lot of us being mixed in with our, West Africans? You talking about our struggle, just the difference between the two. Because so, I just I, there are some of us who I know are Africans as well as there's some of us uh -huh. Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. How do you break the difference? So I'm a Hebrew because I mm -hmm. my my family lived through the curses, which proves that I'm an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Right. You your family, I'm guessing, Correct. lived through the curses. Which will prove that you're a Hebrew Israelite. Mm -hmm. That's why they won't tell you who you are mm -hmm. to this day. Right? Mm -hmm. And the thing about West Africa is we set up a kingdom in West Africa they took us from. Mm -hmm. So if I, I'm going to show you a map. So look. Have you ever heard of Negro Land? No. Go ahead. So 1740. Put in 1740 ancient Africa map. Africa Negro Land. We set up our own kingdoms that what happened was we shared our kingdoms with the Arabs mm -hmm. who were against who, us, who sold us. All right. So look, I'm going to show you a map right now. Ancient maps, ancient maps, ancient maps. It's a Negro land. What, what does that say? Negro, Negro land. land. That's in West Virginia. Africa. West Africa. In Guinea, um, West yeah. Africa. Yeah, that's right. This is before, West Africa this is before, before. It was, before it was Africa. Right. I hear you. Okay. So we had, when we got expelled out of Israel, we went because just like we are today, we are, we are, we are geniuses. Our people are miraculous. Mm -hmm. We just, we just fall to sin too easy. 
Mm-hmm. But our people, look what we did since slavery and Jim Crow and all that kind of shit. Yeah, you ain't got to convince me. We, we, we here already. Yeah, you ain't got to convince me. Think about that. Stuff. We here already. It's taking them how many years to, you know what I mean? Like, 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 think about it. We here already after oppression. They, they're like, man, we can't get rid of these niggas. Let's say how they say it. We can't get rid of these niggas. Right. So all this stuff is pop, prophecy. So go into the other side. So now you know about Negro land. You go tell your friends about Negro land. If you go look at a map in the 1500s, it'll show you all the other stuff they took out because they strategically took it out. Before that, you can read, you can research the map of Israel and Judah, the kingdom of Judah, the kingdom of Israel, Phoenicia, the, the, the kingdom of the Edom, Edom, right? You can start seeing all these maps. So you have to go actually look for them yourself. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to back to Deuteronomy and we're going to look at 15 really quick. So look at Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. So 28. Uh, shh, okay. Yeah, oh, come on, buddy. <sighs> Malfunction over here. No, Deuteronomy. There we go. Yeah, Metro PCS. Hey, hey, fuck you. I ain't got no that Metro. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do better, brother. <laughs> oh, so oh, so fifteen. Hey, man, we're gonna go to King. Make sure I get King James. You know, King James is a black man, right? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Okay, but it shall come to pass. This is Deuteronomy twenty-eight, uh, chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all His commandments. In his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. <laughs> right? And then when you read 15 on, it starts to sound like all our people. What we really, uh, 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 what we went through as a people. It, 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 it explains it. Uh, literally um, to a T. So I'll go to verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. How do we come here on boats? Hungry and in thirst, thirsty and in nakedness. They stripped us naked. Mm -hmm. And in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Who that happened to? You know who it happened to. Why why don't let me no, no, let me ask you no, fuck these questions. Why don't our churches teach us this? Are you saying churches or our churches? I'm talking about the Christian church. Like 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 cuz I I've been in church my whole life. Maybe your church is different. That's why I'm asking. You okay. talking about our church? Yeah, you our talking church. about churches? I'm, our church. See, when I went to our church, when I was in my twenties, that was in there. They, that they was spoken it. about. Oh, beautiful. That was that was this? different. And I was going to East Oakland Deliverance. I yeah, that okay. was a whole that, different that, thing. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Okay. So that that was talked that, about. That, you know, that's a rarity nowadays. Yes. Let me now say it was we. My girlfriend went there. Tom, we talked about it. It was we and her was on that level as okay. far as that. Okay. But um. Can you, you still with her? No. Come on, uh, man. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Uh, hey, And it ain't no, it's not for a bad reason. It's just is what it is. But, um, well, I mean, you, as far as it not being spoken about, it's obviously you want to keep it in secrecy or keep people on a specific, on a specific path, right? So if yeah. I give you this information to do with it, this superiority that I have or this complex of superiority that I have over you is no longer in place, right? Yeah. So I can't I can't big dog you no more. Like I gotta I gotta see you eye to eye for what it is or lose all control of the situation. Cause I'm essentially giving you the key. So it's understood why it's not there, but as much as we going over it, it's not new information to me. So it's kinda like What's the next question? Uh, I, I, are you done? Nah, I'm, oh, okay. That's, yeah, that's that. 
So I'll bring one more. Let's see. Let's yeah, go. I was, I was just going to bring up, um, how about the 400 curse, the 400, 400 years of curse. Oh, that's another curse. And then the, um, like the original people who will be driven away from, from, uh, Israel. Yeah, so so there's a whole bunch of prophecies concerning that, but you know, what does Egypt mean in the Bible? I don't know. Egypt means uh, oppression, essentially. Oppression. Like okay. a, it's a place of oppression. Okay. So it's equated to oppression. So when in, in, in verse 68, you know, this is talking about when we came out of Egypt. Mm-hmm. He's given this speech 40 years right before he died, basically saying, if y'all don't do this, homie. Y'all gonna go back into captivity, homie. Right, it's <laughs> you know gonna be worse saying? than you had. It's gonna be worse. Right. Be different. Mm-hmm. And it says, 68, it says, and the Lord shall bring so, thee. That's one of the things that let me know God give us choice right there. Because it's if you don't listen, right? And but, choice is in place. But he already knew. He, why are you talking if he knows? Back to Iniquities of the Earth, <laughs> episode 11. <laughs> Yeah. We're back with the memory shit cut off. Yeah, we're back, we're back, guys. Yeah, we edit this shit back together. <laughs> All right. So let's get more worldly right quick. Okay. Have you ever heard this quote by J. Edgar Hoover where he said, there will never be another black messiah unless we create him? No, but I do know when they put out the... Uh... They, I guess the FBI, they got their own mission to destroy black messiahs. So it's, yes. it goes hand in hand with it. And then J. Edgar Hoover, why am I thinking of a general? But it's, I'm not thinking. No, he, he, was, he was the original FBI director. Okay, bam. And yes. then they go hand in yeah. hand with that. Right. But it's, it's me, always, me and him talk about it all the time. I was like, bro, if you're a black leader, you just got to know, bro, you're going to die. Hey, put it like on that. your mouth, man. If if you <laughs> that just sound crazy, but yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. if you a black leader, you, you wait to say that shit. if you a black leader, you're gonna die. Yeah. Like, and that's just that. I don't I don't care what facet it is. I don't care if you want to take the Bob Marley approach. If you want to take Bob the Marley Malcolm Mac, his daddy was white. No, 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 His skin was black, but him at heart, he that's why he's going so hard because when he literally he learned the loss. He learned mm-hmm. what was going on. He learned that he was an Edomite. Mm-hmm. That's why he went so hard to try to save his own soul. Mm-hmm. So now we look at it now, like when you understand, you start understanding that everything goes through the father. So if your father is a white man, your skin might be black. Why do you think why do you think the slave owner did what he did? When they come and they do what? They rape the mm-hmm. women and they create men and they put the man in the house. What does that do? That creates a it's divide. A, a, yeah. And that, and that man now, that half white man, half black man, now who is he sympathetic towards? His master. So it's, everything is on purpose. I, I, saw, I saw, you know. All right, so, run that so play then, Back bro. to that quote. Um, I'm going to go back to it, even though you corrected me. If you <laughs> want to be, if you want to take the Bob Marley approach, okay. if you want to take the Malcolm X, Malcolm X, okay. um, you want to take, we can go with the MLK. In uh-huh. America, you're going to die. That 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 is at the end of your junction. You want to take the Tupac and want to. We, we all die. You're gonna die. Yeah, we all die. You just gotta know that yeah. that's coming, right? And yeah. you gotta be okay with it. I think in the Bible it say the greatest uh, sign sacrifice. of love or sacrifice to yeah. die for a friend. If you're willing to die for a nation of us, no, no. If, martyrs. So it talks about martyrs in here. How that's one of the greatest things you can do right. is to be a martyr for the world. A word, right. For the word. And Sorry, I, I apologize. And 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 not only that, it, it talks about how love can cover a multitude of sin. I think that might be the greatest and that's why, showing I, I, that's of why love. Why did what he did? He probably read that verse and said, "I'm going out." <laughs> yeah, I'm going and out. I, and I'm not blaming. Them. I'm yeah. like, if I'm not even being funny, this is one of them things in me. If I'm gonna die earlier, it's gonna be because of something so why, like that. What do you think about guys like Colin Kaepernick? So if we know that black messiahs are created now, mm-hmm. the ones that get so the creator doesn't necessarily mean that every one of them is created. That's, that's no, 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 no. And, and specifically ones, with Colin Kaepernick, the ones that get the, the the that still get the light. Right. I think, but. The, for me, with him specifically, at least being in the bed, I remember when he was on his knee and before it got the publicity, uh-huh. right? So I'm like, yeah, I can create the publicity and create the light to put on you. They can definitely do that. Uh-huh. Um, and even if he was to work hand in hand, I just think it's funny. I follow him. I've donated. I've seen him go back to the motherland and go try to help out and do all this other stuff. He, he like, out here. 
and he and, and that 100%. gets to it, and and that gets to it, right? Yeah. So he's got the know your rights camp where he's specifically going to these communities where we at uh -huh. and trying to inform them of the law. How do you protect yourself based off the jurisdiction where you at or the things that that are going to be placed upon you? So I look at that and I'm like, this is stuff that ain't getting publicized while they're bashing them. I I've think if it. he was if he was tucked off and he was really for him, he would have been cut and just been like, I did my part. We created this. Y'all better y'all gonna leave me alone now. So with him, I'm looking like, no, I know you down. Like, that's just me. All right. And that's just what I believe. Uh -huh. If it turns out to be different, if the guy, guy come like, nah, 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 then that's just a nah, nah, nah. But as far as me going in, like our Sharpton. No, nah, come on. That's a clown, bro. We know what a clown is. <laughs> we know what a clown is. It's a difference. It's a, it's a, it's a, um. You know, it's a specific it, we know that how he was an informant yeah. we, but okay. we know there's a certain resolve within a brother if you want to say that you can recognize and be like this is what it is and it, it's a reason why we look at Jesse Jackson a specific way <laughs> and why I can look at Muhammad Ali like no nah, you the real one he the da da da, -da yeah. but he working with them like yeah. and we all know that when I see Al Sharpton with a show 200 pounds and I said nah 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 some, wait, wait, something going to Al Sharpton we lost his weight I'm like come on bro he ain't he ain't you didn't already saw the dance the big ass head. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, come on. That's just me. Hey, put that video here. Yeah. Well, I just with his big ass head flopping around here, man. That's just me, right? But I know that. I think you see it in in, in community leaders and stuff like that, where it's like, no, they 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 really here. Yeah. They heart is in the right place. We know what's up. Farrakhan. That's a conflicting one. Uh huh. I I'm always conflicted with Farrakhan. I'm a I'm a be remember, honest. Remember the author. Devil is author of confusion, so you shouldn't be confused about people at all. You shouldn't be. You yeah. shouldn't be. But I. I but, but I. But, but I ain't gonna lie to you and tell you I'm not. No, no. But but that um, means usually there's something funny. Something funny, and it's only because I look at um how Malcolm X died. Farrakhan was somewhat in the picture. Yeah. Then you start getting a little. Eh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like it went down like this, and then you popped up, and no, then he, no, he should have said any any man that's against the nation should be put to death. Yeah. So that that like literally, you know, uh, remember who was his teacher? Elijah Muhammad, who right? Who was the other teacher? Who was the other teacher? Uh, Malik Shabazz, a.k.a. Malik Malcolm X. Malik Shabazz, okay. Malcolm X was Malcolm one of his X. teachers. You see what I'm saying? I just remember when they was talking about how he got murdered, he was in the mix, and I'm like, yeah. it's just, and all of a sudden the he water gets get muddy. The water get muddy. But it's like... Did you know he's a Freemason? I didn't know he was a Freemason. But yeah. I do know they, they're studying uh, Scientology, Scientology now, and within yeah. it, and I was like, and that's where I'm like, see... <laughs> you're going to the left, bro. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I got the right hand up talking about going to the left. But, yeah, that's where I was like this with it. It's a little funny, bro. I don't know about you, dog. Yeah, no, he, he's, def he's definitely an informant. Yeah. I, 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 I got to say, you know, I hate saying that against, against brothers, but, again, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. I don't fight the feeling. I told you, once I yeah. see it, I see it. I'm like, yo, it's just been some things where, and of course, they say, we was, we know that the devil, <laughs> we know that the devil know the Bible better than us. And it's demons it. who can crow scriptures. Exactly. We all get it, right? And it's just more so where it's like, damn, he'll give you a token or a nugget of truth, and yeah. then it's going to be all lies. And, it, and the nugget should be like. Because I grew up I grew up listening to Farrakhan. You did, bro, I found Farrakhan yeah. and found some truth yeah. in myself and said, that's why I feel the way yeah. I do. But I, I could look but at that and see. who we really were until as of late. Now he has to because right now, uh, I don't know if you know about the 400-year curse. Mm -hmm. you heard about that before? So the 400-year curse that just ended. Mm -hmm. And it August twenty first mm -hmm. of two thousand nineteen. Right. So now you're seeing a whole bunch of brothers. Like, what am I? They're asking that question now. Mm -hmm. Where what what was I, or where was I before slavery? There's been years of us growing up, like mm -hmm. not even questioning the fact. What happened? What, what were we before sixteen nineteen? Hmm. That's many. And it only made me think, okay, what's the what's the, the what's the relationship between Africans and between Hebrews or Israelites? They sold us because we came in there, we fucked all they bitches, we were smarter than them, uh, we were we 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 we, 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 we no I'm being I mean I'm not it's it's crazy to say that right because we took a lot of Canaanite Hamite women remember Ham according to the Bible he's cursed right remember that mm -hmm. right because what he did to Noah. That's how he plays Ham. Ham the person. I know. So, 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 I see why Ham is so, man, it's, it's so bad. Africans be goofy. 
<laughs> Africans be goofy. But that's biblical, right? So I remember uh, Noah had three sons. He had um, 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 Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Mm -hmm. Japheth is the father of the Asians, the, 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 the Caucasians, or, you know what I mean, the Romans, mm -hmm. right? Because if you look up the book of Yasher, so Edomite, mm -hmm. there's no such thing as Edomites anymore. And there's a lot of stuff that I, I don't tell many people because uh, you have to do your own research. If you look at the book of Jasher, verse uh, chapter 90, so I'm going to have you... Read four down. It's the, the book of Jasher. And the hand of Chichen prevailed over the children of Eswa. Esau. Esau. And the children of Chichen slew the children of Esau. <laughs> Two and twenty thousand men. And all the children of Esau fled before them. And the children of Chichen pursued, pursued them and reached Hadad kingdom of Edom. Who was running before them, and they caught yeah, him running. alive, yep. and brought him to the Abinus, Abinim, whatever, however, yeah, king of okay. Chichim, the Abinims. Yo, I'm gonna let you read this, bro. Okay, this yeah, is, yeah, I, I this is. So uh, I wish it could have just said, "Look, the honest, blacks chased the whites <laughs> into the Asians, and then the Asians <laughs> moved honest. around to the Arabs, bro." It'd be so much Order better. him to be slain, and Hadad, king of Edom, died in the 48th year of his reign, and the children of Chittim continued pursuit of Edom and they smote them they killed them with a great slaughter and Edom became subject to the children of Chittim and the children of Chittim ruled over Edom and Edom became under the hand of the children of Chittim and became one kingdom from that day so from that day you know about Esau and Jacob mm -hmm. how who Jacob was God hated him mm -hmm. I'm sorry Esau God hated him we're from, we're from the line of Jacob. This is why they hate us. Mm -hmm. This is why the white man today still hates us. Mm -hmm. Right? Because we were the chosen ones. Mm -hmm. So what happened was they got conquered. And when they got conquered, they, they then aligned forcefully with Japheth and Chittim. Right? That's, they're not even Shemites anymore. Right. Those were the Ashkenazi Jews come from. Mm -hmm. They're from the line of Japheth. They're not even Shemites. Right? This is biblical. And any any Jew, fake Jewish person out there that wants to debate this, we can talk. But I haven't got a I haven't got a call yet. Right? <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? So what happens is Chittim, if you go look up Chittim in Rome, look at all your phone real quick. So now we're gonna go. So Chittim in Rome. Chittim become Romans. So Chittim, Chittim is Rome, right? Mm -hmm. So you go through read it yourself. Right, so they became. That's how the Romans became Romans. It's Esau mixed with the Chittim, mm -hmm. and Chittim is a son of Japheth. So then, the and who Romans, are the Japheth? Who are they? The sons, one of the sons of Noah. Okay, no, I get that. But as far as the people, what people do Japheth oh, represent? Asians, Asians. Okay, white so that's people. why you was like they ain't conquered them because they are. Them. Yeah. So so, cool. so 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 according to Second Ezra, so we'll go to wait, man, we, hey man, this is Second Ezra. There you go. Uh, okay. What does that read? Second Edris, chapter sixteen, verses one. What does that say? So right here. So one, yeah. It says, "Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia." So what does that mean? Woe. What does woe mean? Like woe, like motherfucker, I'm coming after you. That's what God's saying. I'm coming after you. Okay. <laughs> Babylon Woe be unto thee. Where's Babylon? Is that in the Middle East? I believe it is. Babylon, Babylon. is a spirit. So remember, Babylon is a mm -hmm. place of wickedness. Got you. What, 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 what would you think Babylon is today? In that America. Okay. That's just me. <laughs> that's, just, that's just me. But you're right. Okay. All it, right. It's all the profile. All right. Egypt and Syria. What's going on right now in Syria? They got all type of crazy what's, that's going on in Syria. What's going on with Asia right now? In China, they're, they're all fucked up, right? They, they might go to war with us. Mm -hmm. Babylon, we might go to war with them. Mm -hmm. So all this stuff, you can, if you read, when you get home, guys, read Ezekiel chapters 36 through 40. It'll let you know exactly what's going on. It's called Gog and Magog. It's a war between...
the children of Japan would eventually fuck up this world completely like they're already doing anyway. So all this stuff is biblical. That's what I'm trying to say. Yo, bro. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I think we seen in World War Two, bro. You need to leave these Asian folks alone, bro. If they <laughs> drop something, it's going to get ugly. So you, 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 you heard, you, <laughs> did, 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 did you hear about the bomb? That, uh, that, that, um, that Russia, I said to you earlier, right? That Russia just uh, tested? No. Okay, so, again, guys, look this stuff up because this is all knowledge. That's ain't no such thing as a conspiracy theory over here. I deal with nothing but facts, right? Either biblical, historical, or current events. I just look at stuff that most people ignore. So, this is in the Moscow Times, which is respected, right? Obviously, right? So, what is that? Russia prepares for largest ever Satan two ballistic missile. What's the name of that bomb? Satan two. Wait, what, what, what's the name of that game? Satan. <laughs> Satan. They named the damn bomb Satan. So you see questions on there. What are the questions I ask everybody? Satan, the chief evil spirit, the great adversary of humanity, the devil. So Do you why, think why would they, they? Why would they name it that? Why would they name a nuclear bomb that? What was their intent? Destruction. Okay. Pretty questions. Do you think they picked do you think they picked this name by coincidence? What organization does this checkered design represent? So when you look up this uh this picture, uh type in Russia prepares largest ever Satan to ballistic test. Uh it's in the Moscow Times. Um it shows a picture of a uh, a missile being launched out. It has a design, a black and white checkered design. You know what that design is? No. Have you ever seen? It? Okay. So we'll go to this. When you look up that black and white checkered design, why well, my mind telling me don't put this image in your head? I don't even want to see it. <laughs> Just me. Okay. What is this? Oh, let's go. Uh, I, sh I should just have a thing right here. We got. We got to do this. Checker floor and Freemasonry. Okay. All right. So this is... It's, it's a sign. It's checkered. Yeah. So it's a sign who's controlling mm -hmm. that, really. The Freemasons. So again, if we know what we're looking for, that's what they say. We walk by what, not by what. Mm-hmm. Walk by faith, not by sight. Bam. Is that what you're going by? Okay. Bam. So yeah, man. So last question. I want to ask one last question. I thought you had any questions for me. Run it up. Come on. No, 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 I, mean, no, 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 no. I, I ain't got I, nothing yet. I like being I like being interviewed. Alright. So last <laughs> he's like, hey. Do you watch porn? Yes. Not even a question. At least please give it. No shame. Now that's one of the biggest addictions for men, obviously, mm -hmm. right? And even women getting into this shit now. Right, so why do you think it's free? Never thought of that. I don't know. No, I have no clue. Obviously, it's the easier access. Keep your attention away from other things. Pleasurable, right? It's a huge distraction. Uh huh. So that's why it's free because, you know, usually nothing good for you is free. Right, so I, I, I'm saying it as a man. So, right, so right. again, we all had our struggles. I have a person who I can admit that as well. Mm -hmm. And even I, I have to fight that. Mm -hmm. I've been doing well. I've been real good. I've been doing real good. There you go. <laughs> 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 right, but 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 so it's not no judgment. It's just something that I understand. But I have to understand the way I'm conquering it is I have to realize the real evil behind it and why it is free. Mm hmm. I can't lie. I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay, guys. I'll tell you guys the truth. Mm -hmm. The reason why I stopped watching porno mm -hmm. is because I was watching a porno one time. Mm -hmm. And this girl was wearing an Illuminati triangle as a chain. Mm -hmm. I said, I know. I'm, a, I'm, I'm out. Know. I'm out of this, man. Yeah. The same thing. <laughs> I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Literally. Yeah. That's literally what I saw. I've seen that. We was just we was just talking about an artist. Uh, this is an artist. Man. And she had a little, today, she had a cross upside down on her head. I'm like, bro, I like you. I'm like, I like you. Goja Cat. She's a singer. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm like, bro. They tell you because because they have to. They have to tell you. Remember, everything is done in what plain sight. That's how they operate. You just have to. If, when you have faith, you can see. You can see it. That's it. Yeah. I was just like, yo, bro, go get yourself <laughs> right, bro. Go get yourself right. Yeah. Come on, let it go. But the fame be too much. The fame is the fame is too much to somebody who influenced, bro. Yeah. You got to break from it, bro. That's what's, what's, what is it to, what is it to gain, to gain the, the world, world and lose your soul? Yeah. Is, come on. Yeah, man. What good is it to gain the world and lose your soul? The biggest thing. That's why I was like, he used to be like, spit at 16. I was, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm cool, bro. I'm I'm trying to make it to the gates. <laughs> I'm cool, bro. So, I don't like it down here that much, bro. I know it's got to be better there. So how do you make it to the gates? You got to get your spirit right. How do you, you just live right? in it? Live in the word and be a part, be of it. So we got to start following the law. Yeah. So, so guys, the law, statutes, and commandments, the Old Testament is still active, right? Uh, like a lot of. Preachers today. I'm not saying all because I don't know all. A lot of them go by the New Testament. A lot of them only go by the New Testament. Right. And that's how they were able to trick us into slavery. Mm -hmm. Because of the the old I mean the New Testament and it says obey thy master, but in the Old Testament it explains to you what your master is. Mm -hmm. That's why in the Bible, the slave Bible, what they do, they tore out the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. They gave Negroes only the New Testament, so that mm -hmm. way they never knew the foundation right. of what they were learning from. Right. That's 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 one thing. You remember when we were talking about um do you do you struggle with your faith? Yeah. I seen that it said obey your earthly mouth. I said, nah, bro, I don't know who wrote this. This ain't for me. <laughs> this ain't for me, bro. No, but, but that, that's talking but about no, no, indentured no, servitude. Right. And it's it's in more places. And it's even I don't know, bro, just with me. And that's one of the things I take up with God, pray on, and he showed me something, and that's what it is. Yeah. I just like, yo, I don't believe you put any of us here to be anybody's slave for yeah. what it's worth. Situation could put you in it, yeah, and you, you'd be like, All right, y'all wasn't rocking with me, so I'm gonna let you, yeah, I'm gonna let you punished. figure it out. But it's just something about me, it's just I, I can't envision no white man telling me what I'm about to do with my day. I'm yeah. just you, you just gonna put me six they feet did, under, and bro. They, and then they destroyed our people doing it. You just gonna put me six feet under, yeah, because I'm just I'm one of them, I'm yeah. not. We ain't about to do this, bro. <laughs> that's why I was like, you feel how you want to feel. But that's one of them things. And then when I, um, they had another, I think they said one of the first slave ships was like Jesus, something, something like it had Jesus' yeah, name in it. And I'm, like, Jesus, yeah. and I'm like, that's the stuff that made me question God to where I was like, at times it's hard for me to say in your son Jesus' name because I'll think on that and be like, bro, why do I feel this separation? How did, even how did they fool I, our people into listening to even what the Bible had to say? So nobody asked these questions. Why would the Israelite, the Hebrews, believe the white man? Because remember, we they, they took our ability to read. Mm -hmm. Even before that, the Catholic Church did that. Mm -hmm. That's why they wrote the Bible in Latin, so we couldn't. And they, and they destroyed everything else. And the only Bible was only in a few places, even till today. Right. Damn, they got so much smoke coming for them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah. And they wrote in Latin. Why you just can't get right? Just go through your curse and get back on track, bro. No, they, you were they, just saying that earlier, too, right? Bro. Even the, the, the prisoners, right? Yeah. What, what the the prisoners, you can't read any, um, you can't read any black books empowerment. about black empowerment. In, in, in Chicago, they have it to where they took it out. I think it's like 200 books. Yeah. And I'm like. That's called so censorship. You, you can't do that. I mean, you're not supposed to be able to do that. But it's like, you yeah. You don't want no prisoner to get their mind right. You want them to, to to survive a gang culture and then prison culture, yeah. and stay in the same element. They, don't they, get them, they don't, they don't want but to you survive. Know, but right, and then and then you don't want to talk about private prisons and money making money off us. Cool, we whatever. What did baby Bruh. King say? We don't die. We, we multiply, multiply. Bruh. and that's I, why they keep on killing us, and we keep coming back stronger. Bruh. They gotta they gotta chill, bro. Oh, well, now next they, question: We think God gonna do to them? See, and, and a lot of them say, oh, I didn't do that. Let me well, ask I mean, you a question. If, if I'm suffering and I'm on the good side for what my <laughs> folks did, I know what's coming for them is something terrible. What do you but think about that line? Like, that, that line they used where they say, my ancestors didn't do this. But the thing is, are they still on stolen property? For surely. Are they still benefiting from it? Do they care not to benefit any longer? Yeah. So are, are, have are, you ever seen say that, say, ever, that, say that to Cam, please. Are you are you not willing are, to benefit from it? Are you longer? not willing to benefit from it? Come yeah. on, bro. Are That's you willing real. to give up your benefits? 
If you're not willing to give up your benefits, then that means what? You benefiting you still from comfortable with it. You're fine with what took place yeah. at the end of the day. I just be, bruh. I want to pray for him, but I don't know if I need to be praying for him, bro. Like that's, and I'm a person who love. I love every. I want to do right by everybody. I don't want no smoke, nothing. But damn, bro, it come yeah. a point. I couldn't do it. I'm glad I ain't got to walk that walk. Think about all the Germans, right? So all, so you know, even the Holocaust, they don't talk about it. Mm-hmm. Who were the first people to die? Well, damn, it was us. I didn't know that. I had no clue. I looked that up too. So they don't. They don't tell us. That. Why don't they tell us about this? So everybody, look up. Black and Holocaust. Holocaust, man. And look, I just look. Blacks during the Holocaust era. So blacks, Holocaust, the state Holocaust memorial, and it shows pictures of us in the Holocaust. We were some of the first people to be attacked. Why? Why don't they? Why don't they talk about us? Why do you think most people? They're willing and able to talk about what they did to the fake Jews, which I think was just a ploy where the Zionists up top, they wanted to create something to victimize their white people. That's all they did, right? And and they got rid of the ones who were undesirable, who had our nose, right? Who had, Mm -hmm. you know, some of our features. Too curly of hair, get them out of here. Mm -hmm. How come it's okay to talk about them and they get their own country off of it, but our people... Yo, bro, you gotta realize we the ops, bro. You gotta. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Ask, I don't ask questions about that just because I understand. If if you my <laughs> enemy, I'm not. I'm not coming with no support for you. Yeah. So I don't look for it in yeah. that case from them. But I know. I but, know. But, but you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's like damn. It's over there. Oh, y'all y'all do have sense. Y'all y'all are sensible when it comes to this, but not here. Yeah. Hey, who, but who don't know, bro? You can't even tell a white person. You can't ask them about certain things. They gotta start getting the eerie. You know what I mean? Yeah. A little un- uncomfortable. Now nah, I'm the I'm the I'm the wrong guy. Yeah. I'm the bad guy. I make everybody else feel bad. I Come just on, man. It, was, it, it, it wasn't me. I, I didn't do that. It wasn't my family. My family wasn't slave. So what you feel about white people that will stand stand up? They're called call. abolitionists. Those people who actually stand up. See what that takes is humility. It takes a relinquishing of pride. Mm-hmm. That's what they are filled with. Those seven deadly sins, they, 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 that, that's what they thrive off of because of their forefathers. Mm-hmm. So the ones who are actually abolitionists, who actually do have a heart and an understanding, there's hope for them. They can receive salvation, mm-hmm. but they're going to have to literally turn their world upside down. If they're not willing and able to do that, because I know you heard this. How are you going to tell me about what to do in your community? I know. I know what to do in your community. Right. We get that all the time. Right. Where they tell us that we're wrong about our plight. So you're basically telling me you know what it's like to be a black man. That's the arrogance of them. That has been going on since the beginning. Right. It's just tough, bro. They got a tough <laughs> life, bro. They got a tough life. You you constantly on the run, even when you in power. I don't know, bro. But it's gonna it's gonna be like that because they stole this. Yeah, they tricked it. it we I get that part, but it's like, bro. A part of me be like, bro, when this when this all come to an end, bro. Uh huh. They say fire and brimstone, bro. The, yeah. the lake of burning sulfur. Man, bro, I don't want to touch that. Remember it says about about, about the prideful. <laughs> Probably come before, before the, fall. the fall, right? So any any of those people out there who are not willing to actually be honest about what happened and what's going on, trouble, trouble. Is this the revelation when yes. Jesus comes? Yes, yeah, so be he coming that way. His his, his mouth gonna have a sword, sword in it, it and be slopping off heads. Eye, uh, his eyes are like burning. Yeah, fire. yeah. I'm, I'm because look, people killed him. And people sat back. See, what it was is, is even he said, he said, like, God, do I have to go through this? God put him through that. So the Pharisees and scribes didn't put him through that. God put him through that because that was according to the scriptures. It sucks. But imagine those people. Biblically, it says the man, Longinus, who speared him, his soul will be returned. And he'll be one of the first people to die. All this stuff is is as it is written. 
But we gotta look this stuff up. Bro, he burning and think he gonna get water at the hey, end, bro. Tell him about the spear. Speaking of the spear, I don't know if he knows. So have you heard of spear of Longinus? No. So the spear. Everybody looked that up. Spear of Longinus. So there's spears that are around the world right now, and the white people they love these. Because it's actually the spear that pierced the side of Jesus Christ. Spear of destiny. Or the spear of destiny, Longinius, spear of... Uh, you know what's crazy? I always look at it the same way... Um, and it exists. It's real. <laughs> yeah. It, Tell yeah I don't want to see this spear, but that thing evil. No, it's, it's not evil. It's, it's, it's been used for good. Well, it's going to be used... Oh, I thought that's the one who pierced him. It's, it's, it's going to be gonna... used to desecrate... It is evil. It's going to be used to desecrate the temple. The Antichrist is... Uh, th this is... Now this right here, this is something that um, is more so. Um, this is "quote unquote" conspiracy theory. I got to be honest, right? But this this is one of those things where they say, in according to some prophecies, biblically not biblically, but more prophecies of people who have spoken before, is they're going to use that spear to the, the antichrist when he desecrates the temple. Oh, when he. When he, uh, when he desecrates his temple cut into his... and when he sheds blood on, yeah. the, on the temple mount. They use that. They just retarded, bro. They just outright retarded. I don't know why I'm going to put my blood when I know it ain't supposed to be there. Yeah. And then you pretty much and just... Kanye ain't dumb enough to do it. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm thinking... I, I, <laughs> <laughs> he, he had to pause the thing because you know that's a reality. I'm not saying... I'm not going to say... Funny, I'm not going to say it's not going to be funny at all because that's going to start a tribulation. That's going to be terrible for us. But but what happens is it's like this. I'm not saying it's, it's going to be Kanye. Right? I'm just saying that he's one of the candidates now because of uh, because of the endorsement from the Pope. That tells me that he's one of the candidates. And listen, if I come up missing, I am not suicidal. I am not... <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, Why are you I, talking about the, the other dude? Ooh. The white dude. Uh, who's running for like a candidacy? In, is it in Syria or something? Syria or where? To be like, you know. Oh, you're talking about Mo, the, uh, Moshe Fanglin. So Moshe Fanglin. Mo, Moshe means Moses. Uh, so a, a white man named Moses. <laughs> they, they, they ain't got no shame, man. So, uh, guys. Tell him who he is. So, yeah, so, he's, he's a big so before I say that, Mo Moses was obviously a black man if he was able to to, to fit in with the Egyptians. With the, yeah. Obviously a black man. It's behind him. No, it's behind him. Look that's, that's what he was. So, this right here, anybody know, this is supposed, this is Moses. This is what I say, Moses. I don't, I don't worship it or nothing. It's not an idol. But this is just something where I'm saying, this is Moses. This is what Moses looked like. All right. Okay. Remember, he was black. Period. Okay. So a white guy named Moses. So you know some blasphemy is about to happen. You know what I mean? So a black guy, a, a, a white guy, a white guy named Moses. His name is Moshe Fanglin. He's he's a politician in in Israel, and he's a part of one of the parties that wants to build the third temple. And this is really happening. And again, they're not telling nobody. Right? They're, they're not. They're not telling nobody, but this stuff is biblical. And our people who are Christians out there who don't know this, that's terrible. And that's why they, they don't teach you. Because they don't want they don't want you to know. And what they, happens the moment they build the third temple? Oh man, that's that's where the tribulation start. Bro. And he says I want to build it next year. I want to build this a immediately. Again. Immediately. Immediately. And, and remember, there's know. a presidential election right now in Israel. I don't know if you knew that. So that the guy might win, mm -hmm. or the guy from his party. It's not him anymore. It's another guy from the same party. They might win. So when they win, what happens? They build a temple. They not. They don't play, man. And again, we sit back, and what do we do? So. We have to... Okay, look, 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 look. I know we have to wait for Yeshua to return. And we have to be meek. Because it says that be biblically. That's what he rendered us, meek. What does meek mean in meek this Meek means time? calm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? More so um, reserved. That meek meal. 
No, I, I, <laughs> don't, don't, don't trust that guy. He, he's, he's a sellout too, right? So any guy, anybody in the rap game where they bail him out of prison and stuff, and like, he's, he's a sellout. But beside the point. So, uh, you know, we're not really going to be saved until Yeshua, according to the Bible, until he comes in on that cloud. So any man that's talking about he a savior, and I ain't seen him come in on the cloud with a thunderous voice and his earthquakes and shit, right? That he ain't a savior, not me. Now that I, that when that comes, I'm gonna get on my knees and I'm gonna say, "Hey, you got it." Hey, <laughs> hey, you know what's even? You know what's scared me too? Yeah. That he ain't the only one coming down here. You told me about this. Okay, so have you heard about the UFOs? Bruh. We going into the Nephilim now? So, no, no, no. That, 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 that's, that's, Damn. That's, that's, that, Go so, ahead. So you, you heard the, the U.S. government just said that UFOs actually exist. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. being serious. Yeah, someone texted me. No, I'm fine. Okay. So the U.S. So, so you can go and you can do your own research on it, but put in UFO. UFO. Oh, sorry. UFO. Military. Uh, what's the word? A military, like what they said. Confirmed. confirmed. Let's go. Yeah, confirmed. Let's look up that. Confirmed. <laughs> Why don't they tell people this? He said. He said. He said. Say it. And so who's who, who, Let me ask you a question What group of people Are holding this type of stuff secret Where they put it out In front of you But they don't broadcast it Like the that The Edomites I'm playing They not Edom <laughs> <laughs> Hey If you go out there And start calling them Edomites They gonna get mad I've, I've seen it bro I've seen it You, you call them an Edomite They, they, wait, they wait, No, no Edomite they, they, they hated the Bible That's not me <laughs> I don't know. What's your take on UFOs? You said I got a question hey, for you. Hey, we got ten minutes. We got to wrap it up. All right. What's your, what's, your, what's your feel about UFOs? What's your take? So my view on UFOs is, number one, they're not aliens. Fallen angels? They're fallen angels. And okay. Beings. They're, they're, they're not, they're not, uh, they're, they're not intergalactic beings. They're interdimensional beings. Okay. You guys get that, right? Go look that mm -hmm. up. The difference between intergalactic and interdimensional. Okay. Uh-huh. So I believe that um, essentially my question is, and until I get this question answered, it's always going to be a question on my heart. What the fudge is in South, uh, South uh, uh, Antarctica? Antarctica? Yeah. So you believe we live in a bubble? According to the Bible, we do. Right. Okay. No, I'm saying it because that's how they would yeah. essentially come from a different dimension. Yeah. yeah. So so it's exactly. The firmament is in the Bible. So anybody who is a Christian and doesn't believe in the firmament or i.e. a dome where it says the there's water above the earth that separate the earth from the heavens. Mm -hmm. So if people don't believe that, then you're a heretic. Period. All right. <laughs> and that's according to the Bible. And again, you can look that up yourself. Uh, the firmament. So all you Christians out there, even, even Muslims, because we know Muslims are supposed to read the Bible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. No other questions? Be good. Hey, we gotta bring him back, bro. We gotta, we gotta. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. So, <laughs> I, I, you got no, no more questions? Nah, I'm, I'm cool right now. <laughs> I know you got one. I know you got I one. I don't. If I did, I'd ask you. I really don't. This is just like, let me sit back, take these questions in, and see where we at. Okay, That's okay. Where we at. Hey, but uh, I want to say thank you for coming today, man, and I mm -hmm. appreciate you. And uh, come back again, man. Yes, and, sir. Uh, Tell them your, your name, your Twitter, your all that other BS. I don't have Twitter. Or Instagram. It's just Demarcus, uh, Demarcus McKinney on Facebook, and then Demarcus on Instagram. That's three he, Zs. You put that up below. Yeah, we'll put your tag. Sound good. Thank you very much, brother. All right. All right, man. Take care. Pretty interesting. We out of here.